So being a high octane leader doesn't mean that things weren't a little bit tougher as a black man in technology, but I had to win anyway. I thought about what I needed to do for my family. I had to thought about the example I wanted to set for people that came behind me, what my kids would see, the legacy, and I had to go and I had to figure out how to win. I think enthusiasm and a joy at the opportunity to convey an idea or convey information is where the most effective communications uh, starts from. And when you tell yourself you can do hard things, um, no matter how, how difficult like, the situation may seem, um, you'll learn a lot about yourself. You talk more junk to yourself than you would ever talk to anyone else. That's right. Than you would ever let anyone talk to you, and it's holding you back. Empathy is not easy because of our biases. Right? And earlier in our conversation, you said hard work is a choice. I think empathy is a choice. Yeah, for sure. Right? To really be thoughtful and listen before you make a determination of who that person is. One of the things that has really helped me grow as a leader and continue to grow is I behave differently when I'm thinking about my responsibility to other people that I'm leading. Anything in life, relationships or whatever, you can only be responsible for yourself and your conduct and how much you want, how much empathy you want to give and how much you want to listen. So when you're told you're great all the time, it's like, well, do you, people feel still feel the same way about me even when soccer's not going well? I knew I needed to be out there using my voice to inspire people, to touch people, to motivate people. And there, there's a saying, you can't be what you can't see. It means that I didn't want those barriers to limit my dreams. So therefore I had to own my success in spite of those barriers.